So, uh, here is the example I want you to read it and start modeling in a fresh neat page. So, just go over it and try to come up with a causal loop diagram for this one. Make it a neat page so that I can, if it works, I can show it in this. Go ahead. As employment opportunities increase in a city, people are attracted into the urban area. However, in migration, do not immediately react to opportunities. Since migrants react to perceived opportunities, there may be 5 to 10 year lag in response. Population growth from the influx of migrants tends to encourage business expansion in the growing urban areas. This business expansion creates demand for additional labor which increases employment opportunities. So, try to identify some of these noun phrases. Uh, we may begin with the second point and then move on to the first point. Uh, it is not written in very sequential nice manner. It goes back and forth the narration. Uh, some of the variables you can look at are employment opportunities. Uh, population, in migration, and there are a couple of more you can think on that. What are the names of the variables? Uh, employment opportunities one, what else? Anyone else? In migration, yes, population, no growth, only population, yeah. Growth is an action, yeah. Business expansion, right? Anything else? Demand for labor. So, we have employment opportunities, business expansion, in migration, population, or overall population. We can have a perceived condition also. We can have it, we do not change. What, what loop will, will it be? All links are. Is there any negative links here? Anybody got negative links? Immigration to? There is nothing in description about that part. It is an assumption you have made. With a 5 to 10 year lag in response, there is not a neg neg negative thing, it reacts in the positive direction, the same direction, but there is a delay there, that is a like perception delay. It can, this is it is not captured here, but that will all be short term. So, we do not need that link, this description here, that is a previous example. Some of you got that? Okay. Can check your answers. What you have is a my positive feedback system. All variables are mutually enhancing. So, as employment opportunities increase, the immigration also increases, but it happens after a lag, it is indicated by this delay. So, uh, can be a what can I say a perception delay. After the perception delay, the immigration increases. As immigration increases, the population of that region itself increases. As population increases, more business opportunities and business expansion takes place, where it is small uh, shops or big factories, whatever business expansion happen. As business expansions happen, more demand for labor gets created, and more demand for labor gets created, more employment opportunities come about and it keeps enhancing itself. So, this is a kind of a what can you say a, an ideal perceptions of how businesses can grow, but we know that typically does not happen during the growth phase of any new place like 70s, 80s Bombay was the place to go. I guess there are many, many industrial towns which has boomed because of this where initially set up facilities and then people start to uh, you see that enormous amount of employment opportunities there and people start migrating to that place and that is going to increase the population there, more businesses will start booming, it will create additional demand for labor. So, it is it will be really nice and smooth for quite some time, 
10 years, 15, 20, 30 years. But then eventually problem will start kicking in because there will be some limitations in the resource. Many, many such resources is going to take a hit. So, one common resource which is you know non negotiable is for example, you can consider land. Like in Mumbai city, it is an island, but it was made up of seven islands, it is all mixed into one single big island. Right. Uh, so, land is fixed, there is nothing to negotiate from. So, that is the total amount of land that we have. So, you can keep expanding until you are going to hit that particular resource, which we can expect will start to influence this positive growth, will act as a limiting factor for that positive growth. So, let us consider one such uh, scenario for land. So, let us say there is a couple of ways to write or uh, we can have employment opportunities, then have perceived employment opportunities, which then leads to in migration and the delay will be become employable opportunities and the perceived employment opportunities. Okay. Meaning, even if today the employment opportunity stops, people will start still uh, will still come to the city because they have a perception that if I come there, I will get a job. Even if there is no opportunities, people still come. Only after a few years, the message goes that okay, it's very very difficult to get jobs here. So then, slowly, immigration will lessen. If that all happens, with this narration, it is not visible or fully known here. Let us take just one simple resource, and we will try to model that. Uh, this is slide number two. Now let's. Let us look at one resource constraints how it affects. Population growth also tends to drive the housing construction say at a greater pace to match the population. Assuming only a fixed land is available for business and housing, I can only use it for two either I do houses or I do factories and say businesses. An increasing housing stock makes less land available for business expansion. As unavailability of more land begin to surplus business expansion area, the demand for labor decreases. Consequently, local employment opportunities decline. Once potential migrants perceive the lack of opportunities, declining immigration generates a reduction in the population growth of the area. So, we can for second part, we do not actually need to model the first one, for example, population growth tends to drive the housing construction, that means housing stock increases or number of houses available increases which reduces the land for business expansion, which again affects the business expansion and let me uh, just draw that and show both try to read it once more. Population growth also tends to drive the housing construction at a greater pace. Fixed land is available for business housing, increasing housing stock certainly because as more housing construction happen, housing stock increases, as housing stock increases less land is available for business this opposite direction as less land is available for business business expansion slows down again same direction so we are going to put a positive sign for the last one so let us me just attempt this so population increase in population drives housing construction Housing construction increases housing stock. Currently, narration does not have delays, but we can imagine it. Housing stock as the increase becomes less land for business expansion, less land for business. Say, oh, sorry. Land for business expansion, and there is going to be less land for business expansion decreases, which will further decrease the business expansion. So, when we read the loop, so we have two loops one loop which goes from population goes around like this, and the second loop starts population goes like this, like this. So, that is the bigger loop. So, when you read it as population increases, housing construction increases, which results in more number of housing stock, which reduces the land for business expansion. As less land for business expansion means less business expansion, as business expansion falls down, 
demand for labor falls down as demand for labor falls down employment opportunities fall down and as employment opportunities fall down after a lag or after the perception of employed opportunities falls down and as the perceived employed opportunities fall down immigration reduces which eventually saturates the population in the region to where we want so this outer bigger loop becomes a your limiting factor for your resources so this is a very simple model but can be used elegantly to understand what is happening for example as population consider mumbai initially we had uh, it expanded up to a point and then as more population more housing there's less land for business but we don't want this to slow down so the government has to somehow create more land or create more opportunity so what do you do you increase the fsi floor space index so then you are actually just increasing the land you said you denotify or change the areas change the housing regulations change the land use pattern from coastal to which is marked for parks and uh, forest areas versus marsh lands etc all you are trying to do is play around with this loop meaning you are just pushing the boundary at some point it has to become a constraint it has to have its limits so this can help in understand where all we need to uh what can i say target our interventions better by just mapping out all the variables in a clear and nice fashion it's an addition of new businesses so we wrote it yeah so you can what you are saying this is not needed yeah we don't need business expansion you can leave it fine okay Any questions on this we have a slightly interesting example for 10 minutes or just uh, when we will do that uh, yeah so okay i mean i think we're kind of uh, kind of i need to couple do some couple of admin things there is a big uh, kind of case study we'll go over the case study in the next class